In this quick tutorial video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a default blank project in Traction T7, the free DAW, and then import audio stems exported from another DAW or a mixing project that you received. By default, when you run Traction, you'll be presented with the projects menu where you have all your active projects and all the edits of each project, all of its imported and recorded audio and MIDI files and rendered audio MIDI files, and any audio that has been exported for that project of that edit. By default, and my personal preference, all Traction projects are saved under your computer, Documents, T7 Projects. This way, if you back up all of your documents, then all your T7 projects will also be backed up. Makes it really easy to maintain archive of your projects. The project I'm gonna import the audio files from are James May's Hold On You. It's got nine tracks and I'm gonna demonstrate how I'm gonna import all of these stems into my new project. It's a good practice to include some readme file, a text file that includes some of the details of the project. In this case, I'm provided with information about the WAV files, the bitrate and the sampling resolution, which is 24-bit and 44.1 kilohertz, and the tempo, which is 121 bits per minute. This makes it really easy when we are setting up our new project. So whenever you are exporting stems of your project, do include these details, which makes it really easy for later on for you to load them, or if you are sending your stems to a mixing engineer to mix the song for you. So let's set up and create our new project. I'm going to click New Project, give it a name. I'm not going to use any templates, just simply going to create the project. Because it detected the same folder name, it's asking me whether I should create a new subdirectory or use a directory anyway. So I'm going to select Use the same directory so all my files are located in the same folder. Looking back in our project folder, we can actually see it created subfolders and the project file as well as the edit file. Before I import the audio stems, I want to be able to set the correct BPM setting, the tempo, so that when I import them, they all line up correctly. Even though this is not really necessary, it just makes things editing much easier when they all line up. So I'm going to select my edit, double click, click my BPM, 129 was the tempo, and now it's set. Just going to click Save. And now I'm ready to import my stems. I can select my file browser on the left side, and if you don't see it, it's probably because of the button right here. I can select, it'll come up under Files, and you can see it's under Documents T7 Projects. James May, hold on you, I can double click, and here I can actually see my nine stems. Just going to select can already hear a preview of it. Okay, that's now imported. Go back right to the beginning. Now, the next kick. Just have to make sure that every time you click, let's just zoom out. You need to put the cursor back right at the beginning. Then we have the snare. Overheads, those are my drums, then I have my bass guitar, by default you get 8 tracks, now we've got 9, you simply drag it and you'll create track 9. It's also a great idea to go ahead and edit the track names to match the files that were imported. I'm just going to select track 1, come down here, and call it Kick Back. I will go ahead and rename the rest of my tracks, and when we come back, I'll show you how we can actually do a quick rough mix. Now that I've actually named all my tracks, which is really great, makes more sense. I can easily get more room 
by hiding the left sidebar. And let's have a quick listen. This is just simply no mixing at all, just all the tracks. Making sure that all the audio is playing correctly. It's going to solo. Making sure that all the tracks are playing correctly. All done. So that's how we import audio stems in Traction T7, the free DAW. If this video was helpful, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music.